Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at a situation here, an application problem for, um, for systems of equations. Let's suppose that we have three workers, A, B, and C, and they can, working together, lay 720 square feet of tile um, in six hours. Um, if just A and B working together, they could do the same job in 9.6 hours. And if it were just B and C, it would be nine hours. So let's try to find the rate um, in square feet per hour that each one of these guys can work. Um, so let's, let's kind of think about that and uh, what we can do. First, the goal looks like it's pretty clear. Um, we wanna find the rate um, that each can work. And why don't we just use the variables A, B, and C for the, for the rates of what they can work. So it's nice to know for the variables kind of what their units of measurement are. And so their units of measurement should be square feet per hour as a rate. Hmm. So they're a rate. All right. So let's see what that means. Um, well, well, let's see. So A works for six hours, B works for six hours, C works for six hours. And then what happens? Um, well, what happens when you multiply time by rate? Look at the units. Multiply feet squared by hours, I mean, per hour by hours, you get feet squared, you get the amount of tile they laid. Hmm. So if you multiply A by six, you get how much tile A is laid. Okay. And then B by six, you get how much tile B is laid, and C by six, how much is laid in six hours. Now, if you add those up, that's how much tile they've all laid in six hours. Isn't that 720? Okay. I think that's right. So let's go ahead and, and write that down. So we have um, 6a plus 6b plus 6c is equal to 720. Now, what if it was just a and b? OK, what could they do? And uh, let's see, if they worked together 9.6 hours, so 9.6a plus 9.6b, and working together, they could do the same job, 720 again. Okay, then hey, that gives us what the last equation should be, right? Okay, that should be what nine um, uh, nine hours nine b plus nine c is equal to um, seven hundred twenty. So we have a system of equations, and it can be solved. I won't solve it in this particular video, but at least we got the setup. Thanks for watching.